so let's go. So welcome everyone. Welcome everyone, I'm Truthman, uh, as you know from Overclocking TV. Uh, you might hear from time to time people on the live chat as well. You are more than welcome to join. Uh, it's on the uh, Discord, in the official Discord of uh, OCTV, which is slash uh, r slash overclocking. Uh, thanks to the guys at the uh, Overclocking subreddit for letting us uh, using the um, the um, the Discord channel, pretty appreciate that. Uh, what we're gonna do today, uh, it's a different OMG uh, kind of show. Uh, it's been a while, we wanted to do that with uh, with Tim. Actually, Tim is at the at the camera and he's, he's gonna be the one switching. Yeah, it's working. He's gonna be the one switching the, the views for you guys. Um, it's been a while we wanted to do that. It's a small kind of uh, build guide. So we're not gonna try to do better than The Verge. We're not trying to do better than Linus. Uh, at least we try to not break <laughs> things and uh, and having things fall around. Actually, a pretty good. If you guys can watch the the roast of Linus, it's actually a pretty good one. I really appreciate that. It's actually not PG at all. <laughs> you have to be careful uh, if you have kids around, but it's a, it's a pretty good one. Uh, so yeah, it's been a while. We wanted to do we wanted to do that. So let's get to it. Uh, this is a mini ITX PC. So usually we build on test benches. Uh, on the open bench table or either on big case. Um, this one is the Mania ITX for two reasons. Uh, first, Tim and I, it's been a while that we wanted to do a mini ITX focused kind of videos. Uh, we did a lot of them for our professional side, uh, but on OCTV, we almost never did. So now it is the time to do it. The second thing as well is we got, actually I got personally the Luke case, the Ghost S1, a pretty nice one. Uh, they and they're based out of Sweden and they wanted to make this uh, almost like they wanted to do the perfect mini ITX uh, case. So that went out first on Kickstarter. Uh, it's now fully available. I think it's 279 euros for the case. And actually I got an extra stuff with it, which is the uh, uh, extension hat that we will um, see later down the road, how that works. It's to actually put the uh, all in one quarter in there or extra fans and things. Um, what we have here as well is uh, gears from our friends at Corsair. Uh, we have a SF750 PSU. We have a Vengeance RAM. Uh, this one is like 32 gigs, so it's four times eight gigs, but uh, it's a mini ITX build, so we'll only use two sticks of that. We have a H100 high uh, all in one uh, water cooling solutions. I have no idea if it's actually fitting in the case. This is something I haven't. We just got the parts, like, oh, okay, let's do it. And we have a H. A 370 uh, stinger board from EVGA and uh, thanks to your friends at EVG for actually uh, providing the, uh, the the gears and actually we have M.2 SSD from Iprex as well it's already built in that because that's uh, actually something we uh, we use in the past as well um, oh and in terms of CPU uh, we had some laying around uh, we had a Derbauer CPU uh, 8700K. Uh, the main reason to use this one is because I don't want to use the 9900K for for it. So that's the only reason why we're going to be using this one. Obviously, if it's a H motherboard, we don't we won't be able to overclock it. So having like a case Q in there, it's it's basically a waste. Uh, but that's the uh, only CPU I have <laughs> I have for this board now. So so let's go with that. Um, you know what? Let, let, let's get to it. Uh, full disclosure, we haven't tried to mount everything first before doing that video. So this is like a totally full-blown, non-prepared approach. The main reason to do that is we want to test as well what would be the drawback and the limitation that a total noob would have if they started to build that kind of computers or that kind of system. So I think we can you know, start uh, start digging in, in in what we have in the uh, in the different boxes uh, i think the first things something fall off <laughs> okay i think we broke something already <laughs> um one of the first things we're gonna have to do is to make sure that uh, the case itself is actually free of uh of uh, of stuff so there's like this no it's it's actually brand new i mean i haven't used it at all it's still the the, the tape on it so we'll see what that is uh, what that is for um in the meantime uh welcome everyone on the discord chat as well as uh, you know obviously here on twitch but if you want to join the voice chat and uh, discuss about the latest topic that's uh that's what we have to do, and uh, we had a good discussion about uh, memory overclocking recently, just before we started the show. And um, 
Mikolti, do you want to rephrase or do a quick summary of uh, what happened just a few minutes ago uh, with the new kind of uh, RAM that we might be using a lot in the next few uh, few months? Oh boy! Right. Well, so this all started yesterday when the OGS guys actually posted a new world record for memory frequency, and in the past, all of the world records for the last years and years, they've all been BDI. This is not BDI. This isn't even Samsung. This is Micron 8 gigabit revision E. Uh, we're still not sure what the best thing to call it is. People have been calling it EDI, but there's also a Samsung EDI that's relevant. So it's a little bit confusing. But yes, so this is Micron 8 gigabit EDI. And it's it was a blistering speed. It was something like uh, DDR4 5700. Yeah. It's just insanely fast um, using crucial ballistics. So basically, Micron is back. DDR4 so far hasn't had any Micron. Now Micron's back. Micron is relevant. So I, I am a massive Micron fanboy. I am so happy right now. Um, <laughs> so what, it, what do you expect? Do you expect a lot of people to switch back to uh, to these kind of uh, of a of of chip rather than using the looking for the Samsung ones, or do you think it's too early to actually make the jump for it now? Oh, I mean, so here's the thing. The other day, I got my Maximus 9 Apex, my 7350K, and my Samsung B-Die, and I decided to have a little extreme overclocking session with a single stage phase change, getting the CPU down to maybe minus 40, right? And the previous day, I'd done all of this testing, I got it worked out, I knew exactly what the RAM did, so I put it all together, fired it up, and absolutely nothing worked right because the CPU was cold now, so the BDI was a little bit chilly, and that meant that it hated me. Um, so this uh, th this Micron stuff, on the other hand, in that situation, it would, if anything, clock better. It would behave itself better because it was a little bit colder. So if you're someone who's doing extreme overclocking, there's a lot of potential there. I'm saying potential. I'm not. I'm not sure how it will do, especially on Intel, because on mainstream Intel, the second and third timings are linked, and this stuff needs the second timing really high. Um, so, TRCD, uh, specifically TRCDRD, if you want to get really technical, because it's the read part of it, that has to go really high, and that is a limitation. That's going to put a lot of people off. A lot of people are going to be looking at this and going, well, my B-Die does better than that because my B-Die does all of the timing slow. And if those people want to keep messing around with Samsung B-Die, good luck to them. They probably, I think, will get better results, but it's really too early to say. Okay. But for the rest of us, I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> and I think if you put it on liquid nitrogen, um, actually for your benchmark runs, it hopefully will be better as well uh that does remain to be seen but i i have high hopes so so for now if we if i can resume for anyone that just jump in and was not aware of what happened this week uh basically one overclocker ogs or group of overclocker ogs i lost the cpu wait i'm, I'm looking for oh yeah i have it uh ogs actually um posted a score uh, at above 5.7 gigahertz on digital for memory which is basically the highest we have seen so far and it's not on samsung it's actually on micron chip and the thing is it's pretty new for us as well to to see that so that will be interesting to see in the future but the key point is like uh, i think that were you that posted on the uh, on the discord that ogs had four sticks of rams and they only tested two of them so so far it's only 50 percent of the sticks that are doing that so we it's only two sticks we don't know that much. Uh, we don't have that many more data on how mm. is that actually a case for all the ship, or if that's only that batch specifically that would be uh, doing good. So I guess we should. Uh, I, I personally will think we should wait more stats, which means more of you guys have to test. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, I don't think this should be uh, any big problem. What do you guys think? Uh, I I'll let someone else go. I, I've gone on about this already. Actually, I don't. I don't. I can't see here. 
who's on the chat? So wait, wait, who do we have on the Discord chat? IRFTW, meme, overclock iron might please. Yeah. Oh. Let, let, let's do a tour. So where are you guys from? Uh, California. California, so pretty much uh, three hours behind us here in Montreal. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh. Edmonton. Edmonton, yeah! Canada, hell yeah. Canadian. Yeah, Canada is taking over. <laughs> Slowly. We'll eventually get them all. <laughs> when when the Mies make their way down south. <laughs> oh. Alright. Anyway, uh, I live uh, I live in the DC area, Washington DC area. Okay, so you have it's the same nice. time zone as us. Mm -hmm. Eastern. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Man, that is such a good looking case. Not gonna lie. Oh yeah, I like God. it. That's like honestly, really cool. honestly, it's, it's. I can't justify the price tag, but my God, it's so pretty. Okay, uh, so so speaking of price tag, this is full of aluminium, I think, except the bottom part, which seems yeah, to be like. Yeah, and it's a steel. extruded, right? And it's what? It's extruded aluminum. It's not just like yes. cut. So like yeah, you have yeah. to like shape it like a certain way. Yes. So it's shape and so on. And knowing how much that cost into the manufacturing. Right. Well, let's see. The, the price is not that bad. It's it's on the higher. Mm. Oh yeah, I mean it's the back the back plate. It's on the higher end of the spectrum, obviously. Uh, mm. But that's you no know, what you have to what you have to go with for for that kind of uh, that kind of systems. But uh, overall, I think it's uh, it's pretty uh, it's pretty cool. But yeah, as always, you know, they they didn't go to the mass market for it, even though they, they had quite a big success with their with their Kickstarter. Uh, what's that for? Hey, Tim, do you remember what's that for? Mm. Is that for the Wi-Fi card? Ah, uh, uh, yes, that's for the Wi-Fi card. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay. So we will not put everything in the case yet. So that's the antennas. Well, the thing is, I don't want to plug the network to... Oh, yeah, that's the USB stick they put. Oh, yeah, actually, EVGA is using USB sticks now for the drivers. Yeah, hey, that's Which smart, is... because who actually has a CD drive now? <laughs> that was my, that was my whole nice. point with the industry for years. I... Yeah, yeah, just in case one of you guys want to install XP. <laughs> I mean, I think I have a CD drive somewhere in my garage. I don't know where though. <laughs> like I, I, I re like I remember I like used to have one on my main system, and then when I moved to a new case, I took it out and didn't install it, and now it's somewhere. <laughs> it's been years. It's been years I haven't seen one. I was complaining that laptops still add it. Like laptops, they still add the. Uh, oh yeah, but people need to have the the CD, like things. Like yeah, I don't think so. I mean, like how about instead of a CD drive, they give me a few extra Type A ports and maybe another hard drive bay. I don't know, <laughs> something I can actually use. <laughs> I, I I have this small stick, like this small joint here. The the black one i have no clue where that is going i don't know if it's going in there on the wi-fi card or actually on the board like, uh probably goes towards the board on the bracket uh yeah. at the bottom of the brackets um yeah or to isolate the uh, yeah, but screw that, from the but board but that would not insulate because there's like this ground here Oh, sorry. Ground here. It's actually ground as well on the back. And the thing is steel. So it's definitely not for insulation. <laughs> like, okay. Eh. I don't know. EVGA does weird stuff sometimes. One more question to ask Jacob. Jacob, if you're on the, uh, on the chat, please let us know what's that for. Well, we could still go and read the manual, but that would be a bit like a, like cheating. Yeah, we don't read manuals. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Like, manuals, warranties, disregard all of them. Just, <laughs> like, I don't... 
Well, if you want some quality humor, go look at the MSI recommendations for how to flash a BIOS from a dead board. It says put in a floppy drive disk. Does it actually? Yes. And this is why I don't use MSI motherboards. Hey, they're nice. They okay. I have to, uh, as someone that witnesses the evolution of MSI over the past 15 years. Holy hell, they went from being an OEM all the way up to kicking asses and being actually doing decent board. I don't say they do the best one. I'm not endorsing anyone. I'm just saying that they went a long way. And you have to give them that. Okay, yeah, that, that's fair. I'm just like, I wish they'd just like work on their BIOSes a little more though. Like, I don't know, like, they, a lot of times they just feel kind of clunky, almost, like, you know what I'm saying? On the UEFI? Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit hard to find mm -hmm. things sometimes. Yeah, like, it's... I, I, and, like, when shit like Azrock and... Oh, wait, am I, am I allowed to say that? Like, shit? I, uh, well, technically, it's your saying. If you could avoid saying stuff like okay. this, sure, but uh, right. it's, it's your own opinion. I can't say anything about that. Yeah. Like, I, like, it's just, like... I don't know, when, like, Azrock and Asus, their UEFI, UF, UEFI is, feels a lot cleaner to me, I guess. I don't know. Like, MSI is very different. If you're used to MSI, you probably won't like anyone else. But if you're used to anything else, you're not going to like M MSI, at least until you're used to it. Um, and it, that's if you go to the BIOS. Yeah. It, it's an interesting layout. It does hide a few things, which I don't like very much. On AMD boards, um, there's a lot of things like buried in AMD CBS options normally, which yeah. you just can't access on MSI, and that's unfortunate. On yeah. the other hand, I do really, really love their memory try it feature. That is just fantastic for giving people a starting point when they're trying to overclock their memory. I really love that. So, swings and roundabouts. <clears throat> You know what? It, it's interesting because even though there's, there, there has been a, a lot, and I say a lot, a lot of evolution over the past like 10, 15 years, people still have their preference. It's it's yeah. a very polarizing uh, debate. Like people always have their their own choices. And it's like, oh, no, I prefer this one because this, this, and that. Like, yeah, it's a valid point. Sometimes it's not a valid point, but then you don't want to argue. But... <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I will on. take a Foxconn board. If I can get a Foxconn board, I'll take it. <laughs> Funny story. I used to be uh, part of the scholarship when Foxconn did the Blood Rage. Oh, when, right. when, when Shamino was part of it. Uh, actually, I was uh, sorting out part of the... Actually, I was sorting out part of the uh, backup system that we have, the server, which you guys can't see, but it's actually behind the camera. There's like a, <laughs> a qu quite a lot of hard drives being stacked. And uh, going through the pictures, we found back pictures from CES 2008, I think. 2008, right. so it should be about that time. And it's like a young Shamino, a young Kingpin, a young Fogger, and pretty much everyone else was like, like 10 years younger, obviously, and benching. Yeah, it, let, let's say that it looks much better now when someone is benching, even though, you know, there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, it's actually, it was actually a pretty uh, interesting thing back in the day. We might be sharing the picture uh, maybe one day. We should do like a throwback, uh, throwback in time kind of stream. Throwback Thursday stream. What? <laughs> Thank you for oh. sharing. <laughs> I have no clue which screw I need to use for this one. I... <laughs> okay, that's that's getting a little bit old now. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>
this is always the uh the okay so there's like three or four kinds of uh of screws like which one should i use for the for screwing the the motherboard i'm i'm acting uh, like a, i'm acting like a very dumb time. guy i love it <laughs> So there's the long ones, there's the short one, and there's the one with the bezels on it. And there's the big four fat ones, which obviously are not for this. And they have, uh, and they all have this X thing, except for the big one, so. Unless this is not, this is metric and not the regular. I guess they're European, so they use the metric ones, yeah. All right, so that's the thing. You will know if a case manufacturer is actually based in Europe or based in the US, just because of the screws they use. Hey, I have a question. So are you guys streaming from the US or from the EU? I've been waiting for my Luke Ghost S1 to be delivered, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of US order that I've gone missing. How long was the wait time for your delivery if you were US customers? So trick is I am a Canadian customer, even though I order and paid in euros, but that's not a different, that's actually not the point here. Um, I don't remember. It was it was quite a while, and we saw some of the guys at uh, Dreamac Winter uh, last year as well. And I knew I know that some of the last order. I was one of the first um, uh, backer as well. I was in the first batch of the thousands, I guess. So we I got it. I can't remember a few months ago, before PAX. Before PAX East. So that was in April. I got it two months before that. I think I got it like early this year or late last year. I can't even remember. Oh, one thing. Yes, we can access the back plate. Because usually when, when you plug the uh, the motherboard and then, oh, I forgot to put the, the back plate for the cooler. Damn won't work. Tim, do you want to take part of the conversation? Because you have the you have the audio, but you're not saying anything today. Um, I'm I'm right now I'm trying to decide if I want Subway or pizza for lunch. <laughs> yeah, Subway. Subway. No. Oh, we we yeah, should let Twitch chat decide. Hang on, let okay. me make uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make us trouble, and then we will okay. decide what you eat tonight. Strawple. Subway or pizza? What does, uh, what does Phantom Gaming eat for lunch? There we go, it's in chat. All right. I'll stick it in OCTV topics as well. We'll get get some input from the uh, Discord server. <laughs> what type of pizza? What like make of pizza is it? Like is it a like good pizza, pizza or is it like? It's it's pretty decent. It really? It it took us like twenty minutes to talk about food <laughs> on the technical stream. Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> yeah, uh, we need to keep our bodies running while we're overclocking. <laughs> I feel like Come I'm on, hearing. All, all, all I've had today was a cup of coffee and, and chewing gum. Like... <laughs> Cheerios with maple syrup is food, right? Remember, good food will overclock your body as well. <laughs> it's science. Yeah, science. Uh, there was a question on the live chat. Um, any chance of seeing you at the casino this Sunday, Truth? Might be, not sure, uh, the reason for you guys uh, out of Montreal. There's a Twitch meetup on uh, Sunday night at the Montreal Casino, which is a pretty decent location. And uh, it's not confirmed yet if I will be able to go because I have to uh, go to Toronto on Monday morning, super early morning. So this is still undefined so far, but 
Most likely, yes. Okay, we'll try to fix that later on because I don't want to force it. All right, so we have these are for uh, the power button. So, how do you know which one is which? Yay! I can't. Uh, any of you guys can? Can any of you guys look online and in the in the manual? I have a brown, I have a black, I have a white, and I have a gray cable. I need to know which one is which. I think one is for the power, and the other one is for the LED. Is it not like written on the cables? Nope. Normally it would be. Nope, 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 nope. They're not. <laughs> it's oh, weird. Dear. Loki S1 front panel. Here we go. Uh, Ghost S1 documentation. Hey, hello, late. Uh, yeah, okay, so. Facts is lucky you. Beautiful case, in my opinion. Order mine last October. It was shipped in March. Been waiting ever since. Uh, yes. Uh, the, uh, just just before we go back to uh, the, the cable thing, the reason why. From, from what I understood, the reason why it was late on most of the order for the look, and don't quote me on that, is from the information that I had uh, a few months ago, is because they don't ship one by one. They ship to a local warehouse and then they ship from that after. So it's easier for, I mean, easier. It's less painful for everyone that receives something. So it's just one big shipment to the country and then it's actually spread out. So when you do that, it's actually, quite a lot of work for the customs as well so you have to make sure that everything is like all the papers are fully ready and so on and as you know especially for us it was a little bit of a stretch over the past few months so that might be a, one of the reasons i know they ship through some some stuff through amazon they ship some stuff directly themselves so it's very um, it's very i mean as an outsider it's very hard to to follow what's going on uh, the best solution is always to go ask them and I guess they have a lot of uh, emails in the past few uh, past few months. Okay, chat right, so, so far seems to favor pizza over Subway. Yeah, seven hundred to one for pizza. <laughs> well, chat wants to be a chungus. <laughs> uh, well, this means at some point in the next few minutes, I will be leaving to walk around the corner and buy some pizza. Do you still uh, need that cable info? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, white one is your LED positive for your power. Gray one is LED negative. A power switch is black and brown. Okay, perfect. I will plug that now because I will forget. I have a very bad memory, so... What, what did you say? Okay, white is LED positive. Uh, gray is LED negative for power, and then black and brown, I guess, the order doesn't matter, because it's both your power yeah. switch. Thank you. Oh, the cable is super small. Like, the cable yeah, is, like, why is it so tight. short? What the heck? It's super tight. How are you going to put the power supply in like that? Yeah, that's not happening, I think. Do you have, okay. like, extensions? I don't think so. Wait, let, let me check. Like... Installation individual. and support, scan the QR, scan the code, ah, yeah, this one. Scan the code and you have the manual, that's what they say. I can say. link it for you. Here, the manual. Here, but no, I don't have any extra cables inside. This is the main. So this is tight. In chat. Um, Boy, that's that's crazy. What if what if the... For us, it's here, so that's okay. That's still on the on the same side. But if someone is actually on the other side, right here or there, like it used yeah, to be, the boards are weird. They're like ah. Uh, so, <laughs> what was the color for? Okay, here. White is positive. Uh, mm -hmm. White, White is positive. positive. Gray is negative. Okay, thank you. I told you I have a bad memory. No worries. I feel you on that. I have the tab open. <laughs> I still, I've read it like three times and I still haven't like memorized it. Oh, that's not power. That's HDD LED. Yeah, whatever. All right. Um, Reset. My solution, I actually keep, because uh, I've ran into this issue, is uh, I have these individual cables with like pins at the end. We have some because of the overlay.life project, which lays somewhere around. Uh, there's way too many stuff here. 
Where is it? I touched, yeah, I it. I touched it earlier. On the live chat. Is there an extension in the mainboard box? Uh, good point. I haven't checked. Usually not. Or the case box, to be fair. No, the case box is the thing. No, oh, there's nothing in the motherboard box as well. The gamer cables. Break out the soldering iron. Ah. <laughs> no, no, no. We have we have extra cables uh, from other projects. Yes. Oh no, that's not the right one. So you know it's nice. I got an ASUS power supply, and it came with uh, sleeve cables for the CPU, motherboard, and PCIe. It's kind of nice. I did not know ASUS made power supplies. Yeah, yeah they, they, they make the they they made one. It's called a Thor. It's uh, extremely overpriced and it has RGB on it and a display that reads out the power draw. <laughs> and that's the only reason I bought it. <laughs> so when I run gnarly benchmarks, I can see how much uh, juice I'm pulling. If you want to have live information on your stream, you can use this. The magnificent Extremely powerful overly dot light system. Shameless plug. <laughs> uh, at at cool. some point, I want to buy like, like eventually, a, when a sky like, when sky like X is like cheap on eBay mm. in the future, I want I want to buy like buy one, overclock it, and use it to build like a pizza heating PC. <gasps> Sir. Sir. Now you're thinking about peanut oil. Okay, so I don't have the extension for the cable, we just use it like that. Okay, so yes, I get the I got the PSU out. So that PSU is actually a SF750 uh, PSU from Corsair. Uh, it's 750 watt in the SFX form factor. Pretty uh, pretty cool, pretty tiny. Uh, that is actually nice. Yeah, it's actually one of the baddest uh, power supply you can get. So now let's try to see if that would fit in there as we expect well it should I, psu is the uh is always the 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 fun fact is that it usually fit and i say usually because lately we have seen some of the uh, some challenges for the psus because of this clearance near the uh the button and the power plug so this is where we have seen some uh, challenges within uh, different cases different manufacturers of, of PSUs as well. Yeah, wasn't the open bench table running into issues? So, so yes, so that's what I'm thinking. So I was thinking exactly about that. It's not an issue, it's just the, um, the, what's the name? The variation that you have for manufacturing on the, on the screwing mounting holes of the PSUs did vary more than what it is what is actually allowed in the framework so if you do something that is super precise then you need to adjust for for that even though you respect the framework so that was the the trick in there is this working yeah okay I love the background music. Speaking of F SFX power supplies, this one time, this guy sold me an ITX case, which was a Digital Storm. Uh, it was like a Digital Storm OEM case, but it was made by Lee and Lee. I think it was a PC07 or something with a Blu-ray drive and a 600 watt SFX power supply for like 70 bucks. <laughs> that was a nice pickup. Yeah. Just the PSU, you get like the price from it. Exactly. See, it's like see, like this one. I don't know what's happening, but the the PSU itself. So there's a small variance in in all the. Is it with the holes? That's not lining up. Yes, that's that's the. Corsair, uh, that I've had that problem with no less than three Corsair power supply. It's it's th I so swear. the thing is it, they're not the only one. It's it's everyone. So so that's that's the thing. Sonic. There is there is uh, I don't know who's making them for Corsair. The the thing is there's a framework and then there is variation when you do the manufacturing, and depending on how you read that and how you actually follow the specification or not, then you have. Uh, 
small variation that can happen. But nonetheless, I mean, for SFX PSUs, you have six mounting holes. You have two on top, two at the bottom, and two in the middle. Technically, if you just fix the two here, that's good enough. Well, I'm I'm going to go get food now. All right, so, so I've honestly decided. Have, uh, have a great have a great evening, and uh, uh and I forgot Enjoy to your pizza. pizza. Yep, I gotta get pizza. Um, if this, I'll take a picture, and if the stream's still running, I'll come and post it. Awesome. <laughs> it, you take <laughs> well, the pizza. It doesn't take that long to get, so. Uh, obviously, we'll take the one with pineapple on it. No. Oh, don't don't <laughs> yeah. shout that. No. Too. It's the Canadian one. <laughs> it's just a pineapple it's just does a good not one. belong on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? You're gonna say that New York bagels are better than Montreal bagels? No, no, that that, that can be. <laughs> Some people say it. They're all insane, but they say it. <laughs> all right. So I had to unmount the PSU again because I forgot to put Jeez. the cable. Peace out, stream. In there. And... Also, you might want to plug in the cables that you'll be needing for the actual system into the back of the PSU before oh. you mount it. Yes, actually, that's a very good point you have here. All right, so let's not mount this first. So what should I mount next? Um, do computer? your cable, all your cable runs. So that'd be your 24 pin, your 8 pin, and your PCIe cable power. Yeah, that's a good call. Ah, oh, you're good at it. Important information. Please read before. Oh, yeah, there is French. Let's go to the French one. Information de sécurité importante. Attention, risque de choc électrique. And then no one knew, no one had a clue at what I was saying. Pretty much. I mean, I understood it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the beauty of being French. It's like you can mess around with people very easily. Well, the best part is I'm from Alberta, so nobody expects me to speak French. <laughs> so, so when someone's trying to, to make fun of you, you can still understand what they're saying? Yeah, and then I just <laughs> yell at them. <laughs> In French? <laughs> well, yeah. But well, you don't yell at people. You're a Canadian. Well, I verbally berate them. <laughs> well, I, I say that, but I'm Canadian now as well, so... Yeah. Sure. Oh, oh, yeah, that reminds me. Just... So, uh, on the topic of food, I actually had roast beef this evening. You might find that funny, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you live in UK, right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, I, I had my roast beef. Uh, a roast beef eating a roast beef. What could be more funnier than that? <laughs> All right, so technically I have only two cables to install. So, which side this one is supposed to go? Is this one supposed to go here? Okay. How the hell does that gonna fit? Okay. We'll try to find a reason for You that may thing. have to use the stock cables. You, do you have the really flat ones? No, that's the one that comes with the PSUs. Alright, this is gonna be tight then. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen a. I don't know if you guys know this one guy. He's an Australian YouTuber. His name is uh, Optimum Tech. Mm -hmm. But he's done a couple of good videos on this, on the cable. Ah, uh, yes, yes. That. I built a mini ATX last week, buggy TM. Good call, good call. I, I do not understand, well, I do understand why, but I would rather see more mini ATX and micro ATX build rather than full-fledged Excel ATX board, which most people don't use the uh, the PCI Express slots. Like, what are you going to put in the PCI Express slots nowadays? There's like 
what, two add-in carts that you could maybe put in a case now? Uh, yeah, so basically a graphic card and a capture card? I mean, capture card... Oh, a graphics that... card, and then maybe like a network card or a USB expansion card or something like that? Well, but... US USB extension, you need to have a lot of USBs. And network card, unless it's 10 gigs, no one is using it. So that's that's the yeah, whole point. I mean, so it's 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 like really... graphics card, and that's it. Maybe yeah. Wi-Fi. No, Wi-Fi comes on board. Most of the boards have Wi-Fi now. Yeah. So it's like we. I don't I even don't need to have the, the. I don't even need to have the SATA cables in here because I have the M.2 on the back of the, of the board. So it's like basically I have like two cables. I will have the the graphic cards, and that's it. Should we put the memory in now? Yeah, probably should. All right, the memory for today, Vengeance Pro by Corsair. Full RGB, of course, because it makes your RAM go faster. So this is supposed to be a four times eight gigabyte kit. So 32 gigs um, kit. Obviously we only have two memory slots, so we will be using only two of them. Ooh, what's the version number? Give us the version number. Uh, version number 5.32. Ooh. Oh, they're so good. That would be Hynix uh, CJR, probably. Do you do you know that from the top of your head? Yeah. Oh my god, that's that's insane. I can I can barely remember two colors. I would never be able to remember uh, what kind of ICs are on on chips. Actually. This is the reason why I stopped doing extreme overclocking quite a while ago. It's because <laughs> I can't remember what I changed in the BIOS. <laughs> like I go well, into the BIOS yeah. and I forget why. And it's like, oh yeah, I have to change some <laughs> things. I change something and I forget what I changed when I arrived in Windows. Which yeah, is extremely time con uh... <laughs> consuming. <laughs> it's one number really. So the first number tells you the manufacturer, like five is Hynix. And then the second and third are just, um, they follow a pattern. So like it's two for four gigabit, uh, three for eight gigabit and so on. And then the last number is just the revision. So you go zero, one, two. So it's revisions, the third revision, revision C, so CJR. Um, except they actually, the revisions start at M but for M they use a nine and okay, I, I'll admit there's a bit more to it. <laughs> there, there's a there's a table on the r slash overclocking wiki. Yeah, weren't you just editing that table like a couple days ago? Yes. Or, yeah, so that's probably why you remember it. I, I've known it off by heart for quite a long time, but I thought I'd probably ought to write it down. All right, guys, I told you there's, there's this trick with... Uh, so it doesn't happen that much with ATX PSUs. It happens with SFX PSUs. So the, the main issue with SFX is the, the, the size that you have available to do something. If you look at... Uh, I wanted to fix the PSU like this, and okay, I admit it's a dumb mistake. The fan should be actually from this side, not from the other side. If I try to put it in there, I won't be able to fix it because there's the power buttons that it actually just hit on the side of the of the case. So technically, there's only one way to actually fix that PSU. In that case, is with the fan on the other side, which is not a problem because that's how it's supposed to be. But that's also, you like might want to you might want to plug in the modular cables before you mount the PSU. Really? Because you'll yeah, it'll be hard to actually plug them in because it's really tight and you need to fully push it in. Hmm. Uh, peripherals, six pins. Actually, I should have not put the memory in there. Hmm. Also, you're running a graphics card in this system? Yes, 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 yes. I haven't just, I just haven't said which one yet. Ah. But be the does the graphics guy. card need? Does the graphics card need power? Yes, but uh, that that should be fine. Oh, no, if you want to run them through it. Well, it's a 750. It's not the wireless has the issue. It's just... No, it's the actual the plugging in the connectors. Yeah. <laughs> Which one is that? CPU. Uh, 
Is that rated platinum? Good question. Uh, it should according to the thing it is. I see. Yeah, that's yeah, nuts. Yeah, eighty plus for platinum. something that small. So how many cables do we need? For that we have to use. wink, wink. To get the card. I am not even sure that's gonna fit. <laughs> okay, that might fit actually. So th th that Ooh, that's is that a Strix 1080 Ti? Yes, correct. So I'm trying to get one of those. Okay, oh, do, you, do you wanna do do you guys want us to try to uh, to make it fit in there? Ooh, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work because that's a 2.7 yeah. slot, right? Yeah, it should fit. It's two point yeah, it's more than two, so we have it's to definitely see. more than two. It's like two point four or something. Um I you would know, say You know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. Because yeah. anyway the, the take other it card slow and be gentle. Yeah. <laughs> the the Mick thing is will show you the way. <laughs> oh god. The technically the other cards we have is a ten seventy all of fame, which is three slots. <laughs> so oh, it's yeah. even worse. Do you have any uh, founders cards? Nope. I have a I have a small one slot card, but it's actually better to not even put it in there. Uh, uh, the good old uh, 1070 Katana. The cat ah, that reminds me the uh, the cards from Colorful. So Colorful, that's the this uh, Chinese brand that is always yes. going with like crazy kind of. Uh, of prototype, they had this. They had this one with integrated LN2 cooling solution with it. Not like Gadax did, but okay. Actually, you guys were right with the challenge with the cables. Oh my god! I feel like we're gonna break something if we continue like this. All right, all right. <laughs> My OCD wants cable comb. <laughs> uh... Oh, make sure you get the power switch. Like this one here? Yeah, make sure it's turned on. <laughs> yeah, actually, that would, be a <laughs> that would be a funny yeah, one as well. Put it all together. Ah! Hey, actually, questions for you guys uh, on the either on the live chat on Twitch or here on the audio. Do you know which one of O or I is on, or do you just do like this and this every time? Uh, o is off and one is on. Mm. Okay, so I'm the only so. one that never took the time to figure out that. Because yeah. uh, one means uh, I think it has to do with. Uh like gates that's where the notation comes from one oh, is gets, open gets and zero is closed yeah, close. all right so this looks like uh indeed we it was a uh, a clever trick to <laughs> to have the, the the cable put in there before fixing the PSU. Thank you guys for that. I appreciate the uh, the tips. What else do we have in there? Uh, now you probably want to do the cooler. So the cooler is actually the very tricky part okay let's try to put the the vga in there because that's something we should be able to do very easily can you see it yep so this awesome graphic card let's try to see how that works how this things works okay so you have to open so to so it's the same concept as the DA2 from Streetcom. You have to open a slider at the back, oh, yeah. at the back of the uh, of the case, so it's actually slide in and out like this, and then you can fix, you can slide in the graphic card.
Oh god. Oh no. It's like five mils. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. If you slide it in from the top, can it slide in? Yeah, it does. Oh my god, it fits. I can't see what I'm doing. Did I forget something? Yes. No. Okay. What am I missing here? Ah, yes. That. Alright. Okay, if this one fits in there, that's actually pretty impressive. It does? It does fit? Is it plugged in? No. I don't know. Oh my god, yes. Yes. I don't understand why it's not actually plugging. Um, is the card at an angle? Because it looks like the shroud is getting caught up on the front of the case. Also, safety trousers in the Twitch uh, chat. Ah, uh, yes. Catch open. No, that's the, uh, that's the cooter. Well, actually, the cooter would not work because I won't be able to slide in the... Uh, the side panel, like this. You don't need side panels. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> oh, too close for not that much actually. Well, yeah, no. Technically, we you, there's no way to actually <clears throat> plug it in there. You could remove the shroud and then. <laughs> Screw fans to the outside of the side panel, blowing onto so, the heatsink. <laughs> so yeah, you you buy a very good looking case for it to be so slick that you have to fix fans on the outside. <laughs> yes. Okay. Do we have a do we have another graphic cards? We have the uh, can you just one? remove the shroud part, but keep the fans from the shroud? Would that make it clear? I don't think so. Let me try. Can, can we open the shroud for this one? Just don't kill the car, yeah, obviously. Do you know this external GPU box? This case is smaller. Yeah, actually I think that's the... Uh, External GPU boxes are very uh, badly designed because they are not efficient in uh, in how they are actually being made. There's the one from um, what was the name of that company that we met at C uh, at CES multiple times? A Taiwan is getting in the yes. No, 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 no. Uh, Atikio. Atikio uh, had a pretty uh, pretty decent one. But very expensive as well. Yeah, all of the eGPU boxes are uh, approaching the price of a cheap computer. Yeah, but at some point it's not cheaper enough, so... I mean, at TQ is it's mostly Thunderbolt uh, external enclosure, and their clients were big enterprise or producers, so definitely not the uh, cheap side of the market i would say what is not the same screw ah <laughs> oh, god hmm? 
Um, you have the... S s give me the top lead of the uh, T stuff. No, no, the top lead of the T stuff, yeah. Thank you, Shin. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure that's Auxiliary, which is a, a streamer here on Twitch as well. Oh, it's not the same one. Okay, now I understand why it's not this, the same screws as well. Um, Auxiliary is actually a a builder, like a, a PC builder for work. And he, at home, it's building mini ITX system uh, all the time. So it would have been a very good help to have him on a on the live chat as well. <clears throat> Alright guys, do you think that's gonna fit without the, the plastic shroud? I give it like a 50% chance. Uh, it should, hopefully. Oh yes, we have to remove the RGB as well. So like 20% extra performance. <laughs> For sure, there's going to be 20% less on the price. But <laughs> God. Damn it. Yeah, I don't want to just take it out like this. So let's try to see if I can just yeah. And it's gone. Distance no not the RGB. Yes, no RGB. <laughs> All right, so let's try to see if that fits. How did I put it in there earlier? So it fits on the on the PCI Express cable, but it will not fit with the side panel. You're gonna need external fans. No way. How tight is it on the side panel? Hey, honestly, not that much. Oh, yeah, right. I can I can actually just put it on the side. You guys will see, like this. See, see if I if I if I bend the cords in, it's actually going down. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait a minute. There might be, there might be a way. Okay. So there's this small stuff at the bottom that maybe, maybe if we play with. Well, you could also just put like a spacer up top in between the fans and kind of wedge them in there. So it pushes that card against the center so we keep the fans off that side panel that's actually a not bad idea the the thing as well that we could try to do is to uh, yes so that's in there that's in there so there's this um yeah no there's this space there's a space on top for the card to not actually just touch the the metal in the in the middle the thing that even if it's completely plugged in there we can see that it's actually not uh, not enough for the fans to pass. So this is the best we could do with it. All right. Oh. Water block time. Uh, I wish. <laughs> All right. So we're not going to use the 1080 Ti. Too bad. Too bad. 
1070 would work. Like a, a easy two slot design would actually uh, would actually work perfectly in that case. Uh, yeah, the two. Uh, so it's it's interesting that you can stack more on the case with the uh, with the top hat, like the extensions. It would be, and I'm saying that out loud. If anyone is listening, it would be very interesting to have the same kind of case that you can stack on the side as well. Just saying. And then you have a fully modular case. Woohoo! <clears throat> And then it's a nightmare to produce. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are the other news that we have from this week that are worth uh, discussing? Um, one is it's the last week before Computex, so you should be expecting more and more leaks about upcoming new things, some of which we can talk about but not comment on. Uh, that being said, there's some interesting stuff being put out on the internet. Um, about some upcoming uh, i core count cpus on the mainstream platform we'll see how that turns out if it's actually uh, proving to be true uh, supposedly new motherboards as well we'll see how that turns out uh, technically on the gpu side i don't know not nothing uh, nothing special uh amd is probably gonna be doing a like tease of their graphics cards. They have the new Horizon something something at E3. So no, oh, that yeah. E3 is just less than two weeks after C uh, Computex. Uh, I think they yeah, will save so up for this announcement. Say, we're going to be talking about it more at E3 as kind of a last minute thing at the end. Intel has a new graphics driver. <laughs> That's news, right? That's news <laughs> because it's a, uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's performing, and they have a good uh, Linux support as well. Yeah. And I say Linux, uh, not, not Linus. Yeah. Um, Cray got bought by HP. Oh, really? Cray, the supercomputer yeah. thing? Yeah. Wow. So so that's uh, HPE, so... Yeah, HPE. Yeah. So now SGI is back to being along with Cray, just now they're <laughs> part of... HPE. <laughs> Interesting. All right, uh, so uh, that could be interesting if HPE actually does something. Okay, this is the only other cars that we have. The good old fashioned <laughs> LN2 benching card. No, actually, this one, this one was for Country Cup. The good old fashioned benching card. Is we, we call it the epic gear. It's this one. This is by far the best ever. Small, constrained, doesn't heat up, fully passive, no power, nothing. Pretty cool, eh? This one has been used Good. for a lot of competitions. Like uh, technically all the OCWC, uh, so overclocking world championship, even were running on those, uh, unless that was the some uh, like super iron ones for some specific event, but that was running on these small ones. It's I think it's 710 or 730. So even the drivers are very uh, convenient because- Don't even fit. install drivers, just use the yeah. <laughs> VGA <laughs> mode. It's fast enough. Okay, so no graphic card for us today. Oh. Sad. We have to wait for the 1070 to come back. Luckily, you already ran the cables to it, so that should be easy to install. Yep. And I have enough cable for like a super powerful one, which should not go more than 750 watt, but yeah. So throw a Radeon 7 in there. <laughs> so no, no RTX. So I think, uh, yeah, so basically we just have to, to go with the cooling now. Okay, I can put the RAM, I can put this in there as well. So this is good. No, the RAM, we need to have the cooler first. All right. So, so are you putting the cooler in a top hat or a bottom hat? Uh, good question. 
good question i haven't thought about that uh, to be honest uh technically we could choose which one we want correct yes uh looks like a bottom hat would probably be better and run it in an inverted so blowing from the bottom all the way up but there's no dust filter there's no dust filter on that case so i would rather get the top one where was there was something else in the case when i actually just opened it nope nope Wasn't there something like a plastic kind of cover? The first thing I removed out from the case. <laughs> that was an extra stuff, for sure. Well, whatever. Ah, yes, yes, this. So these, I have no clue what that is for. It's either for the top one or for the bottom one. So this actually replace that part like this. I don't know what's the difference between the two, except that this one have a large opening. Oh, maybe not. It's if, if I want to put the hat in there, I need to have the space for the cables because that's actually the extra side for it yep. so should we go bottom or top top is more cool no pun if we do the bottom bottom looks more open And then you have nothing in there. Uh, okay, so one thing. If we do the bottom ones, we will have all that space here that will be actually blocking part of the way for uh, for the coolers. So like this, up, this here will be the opening with that. But if we put this opening just on the side of the cables, then the cables will not be pushed actually in the case, but they will be like, laying around so what we have to do first is to see how we can fit the uh, H110 because then if we have the cables going up from the top here and passing here or actually from the top there and passing there that should be easier to plug and I say should be because I haven't tested before doing it okay so sorry folks that's gonna be a top one And I have no clue if I have to do it this way or not, but yeah. Probably the other way. Like this? Uh, because no. you need to route the pipes for the... No, uh, rotate along the uh, long axis, ah. not around the thin axis. Hmm. But then it's quite constrained here. Yeah, but you need to have the... Tubes for the cooler. Yeah, but the tubes for the Actually cooler can pass here. Hmm? And they have to add the RAM as well. Ah, oh, yes, there's the RAM. Ah! Oh, that's good. It's magnetized. Okay, they did good. They did good. All right. So, top hat. A few more screws. <laughs> Few more screws, few more stuff in bubble wrap. So this is the large ad, so this is the the tallest one. So as you can see, never never used it before. Is that elf hate card? Yes, there's onboard graphics anyway, so it's not a big deal if we don't put the, the graphic card. So these are the two parts for the top and these will be the two parts for the sides all right 
so we so we had to remove the RGB for the VGA, but in the end we will not be using it, so that's not a problem. The all-in-one water cooler is supposed to be full RGB, so we'll have 20% more uh, performance, cooling performance, as people used to say. It's only 20% more cooling if you set them all to be blue. <laughs> okay, you have to be blue, otherwise it doesn't work, eh? Yeah, that's how it works. Blue makes it cooler, red makes it run faster, green makes it take less power. <laughs> what sorcerer is that? Uh, I, I remember those. In, ah, such nostalgia. Back, back in the days, before RGB was a thing, and it was just different LED colors for fans. And you had to and only ever put like four LEDs in it, so it always looked bad. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Uh, we have one. I have one. Yeah, right here. This is this is by far the the best LED UV reactive fans I ever owned. <laughs> oh yeah, no, those ones are great because they're UV. They're UV so reflective, and you, you you could be plugging them, but you could be controlling them from an outside panel as well. But oh, yeah. please tell me you've got a LAN party to go with it. No, sadly not anymore. Ah, oh. but yeah, they there were UV reactive it. stuff on everything. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that's for you. Something, something Chinese. Also, I just want to quickly say hi to Clock Cruncher, who's just joined. He's uh, one okay. of the R slash O clocking guys. He's uh, done a, a lot of really good work on voltage testing for second gen Ryzen. Hello. Hey, hey. Hello. Guys, I think I forgot to put the back plate for the cooler. Oh no, you didn't, did you? Oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Okay, so let's not mix the screws. So these are the keys. Slip it in from the edge? That's not gonna work, I think. Yet. Ah, no! There's actually access from the back. We saved. Oh, thank you. Um. Well, before putting that, I want to see if I, if actually that will fit in the... So there are RGB fans. Should we have the fan lighting up the outside of the case or the inside of the case? Tricky question. Outside of the case, so you can see it. Or use the UV fan. <laughs> I'm not using those fans anymore. You know what? I, I, I had I had two, I had a lot of them, and I kept two just to be able to show to show them on the live. <laughs> okay, so we have these two tubes like this that have to go somewhere near that. So that actually. Where would be the top? Oh, the top is there. Hmm. So the cooler, then the fans, then the top. So the cooler will be like this. Well, technically. <laughs> All right. Let me move stuff around. So the only thing is, I don't know how am I supposed to fix, ah yes, okay. So I could fix the top hat like that and it should work, okay. So we're good on that point.
Nope. Won't work. How the hell do they... How the hell do they make it work? Do they really do it from the bottom? So because of the tubing, it won't pass here, but it will pass there. Okay, so we have to put it on that side. I can't remember who says you should use the the bottom instead of the top. You were right. I I surrender my. Uh, my my opinion to yours at the risk of rambling for another 20 minutes or so i have a quick update on the micron <laughs> um <laughs> so you read his uh, reddit post about it um, probably, but so I've actually been testing a kit while this stream's been running. Um, it's been on tests downstairs running Kahoo Mem test. Um, it's on Ryzen, it's four DIMMs on Ryzen on a Ryzen 1700, uh, running DDR4 3600, and it's at nearly 2800% with no errors so far, which for Kahoo is. I think something like 97 or 99% stable. Kahoo? Yeah. It, Kahoo RAM test. It's a paid memory test software, but it's a little bit faster. That, that was a, a yeah. low-ball low word joke for me. Sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so can we put it in there? No, that's okay, not, yeah, so not going to pass. That's about 97% stable. Roughly. Um, so, so, the issue is the tu so we have an issue, folks. So what we have is we have the tubing. So at best, we can actually bend them like this, which is pretty much the size of mm. the fan. And we can't put them like totally close like this either. Even though that would be way easier to do, but I don't think that's how it's supposed to be made. How um, how big is the kind of hat area? I think it's like five or six centimeters tall. Can you can you see it from the? Oh, sorry. Right. Okay. So and you wouldn't be able hat. to just have a second. So going on top is a no go for sure. I can have the the cooler and the fans for sure. But the thing is, I need to have the fans on that side and the fans to be sandwiched between this and the cooler. No no choice around that. There's no other way around that. Because if I do it this way... I... Let me turn it on your side. Linus, get out of me. So if I put it this way, that could kind of work, even though the um, the pressure mounting here doesn't work. But if we do it this way, like that, it's fine because there's the opening in the case right there. Okay. So that's how we should do it. All right, so let's do it this way then. So we literally tried all the ways until finding the the actually the only functional one, which is this one. That was about right. So, so Brutus, how's the Micron EDI testing going? Interesting. Oh, uh, you're on stream, by the way. Oh, hello. Uh, say hi to hello? 22 people. And it's gone. Yeah. So Truff is building a mini ITX PC in what was the case called again? Look. 
Luke Ghost S1. Ooh. Which is a many right. HX case from Sweden. Yeah, it looks really nice to be fair. Um and in between when when he's when he's distracted, I'm harping on about microphone memory. <laughs> Inside or outside for the fans? Like Whichever this? side works. Yes, yeah, so like it's that. going to be a question of what will actually fit, what the tubes will fit around. No choice. We have to put them on the side of the tubes, otherwise they're just in the space. Right, yeah. So, um, oh, inlet or outlet? Ooh, probably you're going to need them at outlet, aren't you, to get rid of the hot air from the GPU? Otherwise that doesn't have anywhere to go. No, it's a vented side panel. It pretty much runs open air when there's a GPU in there. I mean, for the intake, yeah, but where, where's the outlet from the GPU? Going to I be? love that kind of questions because you can go on for like 30 minutes. <laughs> for now, there's no GPU, so that's not a big deal. Also, the other reason to have it as an outlet is you're not overclocking because this is an H series board. So uh, CPU yeah. temps don't matter. You still might be able to um, just force it into a high multiplier state by modifying the turbo table. I mean, yeah, okay, or just just raising the power limits to fair. Yeah, so. Can play with the XTU, if XTU is actually uh, fully, com if the board is compatible with the XTU. Okay. Three, four. Also, you can definitely overclock that memory. Got that memory, yes, for sure. Actually, speaking of memory, we have a another very nice kit laying around here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. It's a yeah. F4 4000 C18 64 gigs. It's basically 64 gigs of DDR4 4000 in one kit. Last time you mount this one. <clears throat> yeah? No, that's the one uh, from PAX? That's the one from PAX, I guess. Oh man, this is like... The screws goes like half. The rondel. Ah, technically we can mount it through that. <laughs> just, just for, just for the sake of it. So what we have to do is to mount these cooler to the top hat. Tim, is there any uh, news you want to discuss this week? looking that was a cool video we can't hear you you cannot hear me yeah now we can hear you nice okay I said uh, Linus made a cool video where the, the tech guy that is sort of like uh, you know um, 
doing the reviews for him. Uh, Anthony and, or something, and, something like that. Um, talking about, you know, why if so Nvidia didn't release the whole RTX like uh, the XR drivers stuff for other cards than the RTX at the start. So they made a comparison with the three games that are actually right now using it and um, showing basically the performance um, drop still with the latest drivers and everything. So it was quite interesting. So if you still want the best out of it, you still have to get a 2080 Ti set for the moment. So they knew that if they wanted to have it, they need to have a special uh, design in cores, basically. Yeah, yeah they, they were not getting any good performance, especially at the very when they first launched with the first driver. It was definitely not working well on like 1080 Ti's and those other big cards. And even now, it's like the drop in performance is for some of the things, depending if it's shadows or different things. Um, it's quite extreme still for some games. So, uh, what they did mention though is also that they work with like um, I think is it um, Unreal Engine, something like that, to allow it to be ported easier for the developers, so more games should come. Because right now it was mostly all demo games, like uh, special project stuff. But yeah, I'm still amazed that they even got the three games that use it out so quickly because it required a actually quite massive change in how you design a game. So uh, that's what he was saying. It was quite a lot of work for the devs to just add that specifically for it and then still make sure it also works with the regular cards as well, you know, and looks good and the usual stuff they need to do. That was pretty impressive. But yeah, it's not even now if you use basically the XR drivers and run those games on your regular cards, so you're gonna see a significant drop in performance. So may maybe with the machine learning and all that stuff they, they are doing on it, it will get better. But uh, I think at some point, use just the hardware. Truth, don't forget the washers. But there is washers. It's actually super tight to put the two fans side by side. That's what she said. Ah, oh, come on. Did you guys figure out on the live that's actually the same music going on in loop for like almost five years? Yes. Shut up. I think I muted it. It's a testament to the greatness of this song. You know that some people actually send us message, what's the name of the OCTV music? <laughs> well, you had one song, so... It's called Ear Milk. <laughs> yeah, shut out. Okay, that's suppose. Yeah, so we fix it. So now let's see what we can do. Can we plug it back in? So we say that should be actually from the top. <laughs> Technically, it works. Aesthetically, it fits. Oh, uh, there's not going to be any aesthetics for the cable runs in here. Ah, uh, should I put the cables on the other side? Or these cables will go like this and disappear. Mm -hmm. 
So we could, we could play a little bit more and push the rads all the way to the back side. So we will have less issue with the, uh, with the space. So let's fix part of the top hat. doesn't fit exactly like it should. Is it me or? All right, so we're trying still to fix that part of the cooler in there. Excuse me. <laughs> so, see, I feel like there's like a extra space here that should not be there. It's the same. No, I can't. No, it doesn't work. I think that's uh, on purpose. All right, let's see if that's, really the, that's the same behavior. On the other side of the case. Yeah, that's the same behavior on the other side of the case as well. So let's call it that it's actually a a feature. It's a feature. It's made on purpose. Alrighty. Let's fix that. Longest cruise to hold on the extension. Uh, good question, Zarkon. Actually, no. So the extension, uh, maybe Tim, you can zoom in. So oh, there. So the extension have these small embossed right here and right there, which actually will fit directly into the sides or the top actually of the uh, of the case with a, just a regular sized screw that we had before as well. So it's the same screw for everything, which is pretty, I mean, it's not for everything, for most of the things, they are the same screws. So for example, uh, we have two set of screws in that one. So this comes with the top hat. Maybe you can see it. All right, so we have two set of screws. We have four small ones and four long ones. I guess the small ones are if you don't use the extension and the long ones are if you use the extension. So as we use the extension, we would be using the four long ones. I like the screws. The only thing is I would have loved to see is not using a super, um, the kind of screws that is like based out of a star, which is because it's a bit difficult to find back if you lose some, etc. So it's a bit tricky. Is this actually doing something or not at all? Well, looks like it's not working as we expect. All right, so. Uh, so I took the long screw and I put it back in the extension and Tim, maybe you can zoom in. And there's not that much of 
extra room that I have in there. Let me see if I have a longer screw in that. Okay, so th so that's clever. You know, you have like a black screws in a in in a black cup. Sure, making your your life easier. All right, so. All right, how do we do that, guys? How are we supposed to do? It doesn't fit. So if I put the, uh, so it's like, oops. It's like if I put this in there. Ah, uh, that's the bottom one. So no choice, this one has to be here and I have to screw on that from the other side. Which won't work. Wait, 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 there's something I don't get. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This might be a, a solution. If we put it in there. And then we can still have that at the bottom. <sighs> Should have read the manual. Actually, this. Do you think there there will be enough space for the RAM to be uh, to be plugged in as well? Yeah, that should. And then like this. Now let's see if the extension actually fit. Actually, it does fit a little bit better. So what do we do? Now the thing I don't get is why there's a difference between the two. So that if I actually put it in there, I can't fix it on the top, so I have to fix it in between anyway. Okay, there's one thing as well. There's a small uh, magnet on the top here and on the top there, which are being used for plugging the top hat, the last last top hat. So if I do it like this, I can still plug it. <clears throat> Read the manual. Yes, there is no manual actually. So you guys can read the manual online, but as I don't have the online access straight in right now, I am not able to read the online manual, obviously. All right, so let's do some small cable thing. Okay, so let's consider that's actually fine. Now let's put back. We should not put that. Yeah. 
Hey, by the way, did any of you on the on the live chat on Twitch or here on Discord, did you watch the roast of Linus? What did you think about it? I watched it on YouTube. I thought it was actually mm. quite good. I liked it. I, I like the... You, you can see that they knew each other for quite some time as well. Yeah. I, my favorite part was when uh, Steve Burke came on and his roast basically just consisted of pointing out technical inaccuracies in their videos. <laughs> well, that's that's Steve. No, <laughs> if, it's, if it's technically inaccurate, there is no way you can avoid it. Oh, yeah, that was the best part by Miles. <laughs> well, yeah. he got roasted quite a, quite a lot as well about him not being recognized as a real journalist by The Verge. Oof. Yeah, just there's some things where there's a couple videos that Steve should have maybe spent a bit more time researching before making them. Mainly his SGI content that he did a, when he was kind of filling space when they were going to Taiwan. Because those videos were thin in actual information and actually got a lot of stuff wrong. I don't even remember that video. Honestly, if you want to nitpick te tech tube, I could nitpick a lot of things that... Well, I could nitpick a lot of things Steve Burke has said, but that's because I could nitpick a lot of things that anybody ever has said, myself included, my past self. My, my present self obviously is right about everything. Um... <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. Ah, oh, this one is perfect. Thank you for saying that. Yesterday's me knew nothing. Today's me knows everything. <laughs> I feel like I hear Bill do it. <laughs> no, actually, that's not true. Isn't it like that? All right, back to the start. This could be a bottom, or this could be a bottom. So if this is a bottom, these can't be used. So that's the thing, the top hat have to be used as a top hat. Because there's only one way to screw in. was not fitting in there. Well in there. Actually it does fit in there, so let's Alright guys. I hate when I have to do that because it's been doing the same thing over and over again. But let's try to make it Did any of you guys on the on Twitch or on the on Discord? Did you watch the last live stream with Steve and Joe on Gamers Nexus? Uh oh yes, yeah, the twenty eight TTI. With uh, Joe slacking hard as usual. Yes. It would be interesting to see a uh, Computex this year as well because there will be a lot of models, a lot of uh, quite a lot of overclockers, but there's not really anything happening except the uh, the J skill competition, yeah. which is exactly the same as for the past eight years, but at least there's something being done. So 
So there is a video on the website of Look website as one video showing a liquid cooled installation. They assembled the entire mini extension frame and there's no metal plate between the extension and the main part. You essentially have a top and a bottom and no middle divider. Oh, okay. Oh, right. So the bit that you've been mounting everything on that goes right at the top and it just hangs from it. Okay. Makes... But then, then my question is, where do I put this? Yeah, I won't have this ugly ass thing on the top. No, from the top, I should have this like this. This is what it's made for. So if I have yes. the extension, I can have the extension in that. So which is why we have the magnets. So can you check on the website how they're actually doing it? Mini extension frame and there's no metal plate between the extension and the main part. The red is mounted directly on the top of the bottom plate. Oh, so actually... So then... On the top of the bottom plate. So this one doesn't move because that's the top one. On the top of the bottom plate. So then that means the extension would come here. but then it can't be working. It can work. Oh, okay. Yes, it could work. No, it can't. Okay, here's the trick. Oh, there's actually a space in there in the middle. Whoa, wait, wait. Did you say there's no space? So, okay. The question is, where did they put this frame? Maybe in the middle between the cooler and the, and the fans? <clears throat> but then it's going to um, be sh shaking all around. I'd have thought that frame would be right at the top, wouldn't it? Or am I wrong? I, I might be completely wrong. No, actually, wrong about you that. could be. Uh, you could be correct, and that would solve one of the concern I have. Because then, we you don't need screws for that, because you have a small end tail. Nah, can't be that. It's not gonna. It's just gonna wiggle all around. It's not going to be fixed. <laughs> Were we about to lose the table? No middle plate, just the top and bottom one. That middle frame is deleted. It looks like Jay did it with a top hat and it looks like there's a middle plate. The middle frame you have the red on now is deleted. Mount the red to the bottom panel instead. Back in a minute. Uh, when Jay did but, it, he custom but, water cooled, so... And that, no, but the thing is, okay, on the extension, there's only two holes. I can screw. So that means I can screw things only on one side, not on the other side. Which means that if I use the extension for this at the bottom, I can screw the extension to the bottom of the case, but not the bottom part to it. <clears throat> and if it goes at the top, like this here, No, actually, this is not the top here, but yeah. If it goes at the top here, I can still use... 
I can't put that on the top here because I have nothing to screw. I can screw it here if I need to, no problem. And I can still use the, the top hat. Hmm? What plate goes in the middle here? So this one goes in the middle. But if you look at the space, it doesn't fit. It's it's swiggling all the way. Where's the bottom one? Actually, the bottom one fits. You're right. <laughs> oh, it's between the radiator and the fan. So I remove this, put the fans on one side, right on the other side, and then we go. And then these, I have to... But then I have a big... Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, but you need the feet, yes! I don't know, there are, no, there are tapes. Can you check? Okay, so we have to unmount again. So there's one thing we knew from the start and that everyone I've learned today is before you do any videos, do a build test. Yeah. If I put the rod under, that's not gonna work because the pipe will bend too much. I can't believe that. That's my whole point. I don't have any spare feet, not from what I can recall from the from the board, from the box. Actually, guys, on the on the left side, I really appreciate that you are helping out. Uh, the thing is, when I read the message, I'm actually way further than what it was actually being made so you have to look at the at the at the return on the stream to see a, 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 any more a, a, to see approximately what i was doing and also they have time to actually type out the message so it's even farther behind of how far you need to look back To me, this one, to me, this one is going in the bottom. This one is to pass the tubing. <laughs> so the thing is, and we can do it without having that being plugged and messing around with our system. So the trick is, yes, and every time you move the case, it's gonna be gling, 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 gling. Huh? Yeah, this, this, so it doesn't fit this way. So it fits like this. It, it, it looks like it's, it's made like this, like the, the size and everything. It's made for that. I'm a hundred percent sure it's made for that. And this part is coming up here to it. The thing is, the screws are too short. Okay, it does fit. Barely. It's 
Slow clap, please. Slow clap, everyone. So the bottom will be actually the back to say thank you thank you for the slow clap i appreciate um in the middle frame you have the red on now oh well i don't have the red anymore <laughs> middle frame <laughs> so this is what you call the middle frame i think uh there's a montage shot so good luck seeing exactly what it did yeah i think if there's a montage shot it's obviously for that Yeah, actually, I'm actually if, money. If there's a montage shot, uh, you need a counter for how many times you undid all the screws on the radiator and put them all back. <laughs> That's why you do it live. Because you can't cheat if you do it live. Which is the whole point of doing the, the OC challenge between the YouTubers live. Because there's just so many ways hard to get. People have to understand it's not as easy as it looks to get a decent score. And mm. need to sit there just running the benchmark over and over again to get a good run. <laughs> okay, team, you had a good one. <laughs> Can you go on the on Discord and, and say it out loud? I said it's not as easy as it looks, like the name of the case. Mm -hmm. Bam bam boom. So good. <laughs> <laughs> this joke was sponsored by Malabar. No advertisement. Somebody would sponsor that joke. Like honestly, yes. And good things you okay. You, you have to know that overclocking TV started like more than ten years ago. Like Tim and I, we met here. In, a, in Montreal. And the thing is, uh, we were already doing pretty bad jokes at the time. No, like, n not not like dark humor or anything, just, just bad word jokes. And it kind of stayed like this for <laughs> forever. <laughs> yeah, okay, actually, you guys have the wrong side of the case, so you can't see what I'm doing. so there's really no way to do that without the fans so we need the fans so actually we were correct before unmounting yeah it was right you just didn't screw your screws enough <laughs> so i didn't screw enough so we get screwed <laughs> Screw you. Uh, you can fit a 1080 and a 1080 Ti in the case, no problem, as long as there are two slot designs. That's the only requirement, which was not the case for ours, which was a 2.5 slot design. I mean, more than a two slot design, actually. All right, folks. Where did I put the fans? That's the story of my life. <laughs> this is the best way of mounting a, a an all-in-one cooler. One, one side, one push, one pull, <laughs> and then everyone is happy. I mean, you could. Well, technically, nothing is preventing you from doing that. I, I still say outlet. I go for whichever way you're least likely to stick your fingers in it and hurt yourself. Uh, I was more worried about the cables. So, yeah. Hmm. Fingers. Eh. Once you don't have any, there's no more problem. Yeah, but when you don't have any fingers, you can't do... You can't type in your overclock. Alright. Truff doesn't overclock anymore, it's fine. <laughs> 
was about to say something like that. Uh, well, technically, it's not true. I still do overclock from time to time. I just don't bench for scores or anything because I don't think that's um, where we have the most uh, impact. We still yeah, do from time was... to time. We did for the uh, we did for videos with uh, Ubisoft actually and mm -hmm. gone on the on the UPlay store. So we did some uh, extreme OC. That was fun. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Did, did you did you saw it? <laughs> no. Yeah. Ah. I watched it two times speed. Ah, uh, you know it's uh, very 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 noob friendly because well, you have to you have to talk to people that have no clue what you're doing and still think that, oh, if you do your overclock, you're gonna burn your PC and your lifespan for your CPU will go from twenty five years to three years. Hmm. But it's very, it was good. Yeah. It was interesting to um, to do this kind of educational content. So it was fun. It's the same thing we do when we go at uh, at panels, like we do for PAX, for example. Hmm. Yeah. The PAX panel was good. That was a very good one. I really want we can do. Uh, really want to do more like this. You had fun, Tim? <laughs> you said, mm hmm. Alrighty. So that's the bottom. The bottom will stay at the bottom. So we'll put it back at the bottom. <clears throat> okay, there is a shot of the cooler mounted to the middle plate in Jay's build. <laughs> and he got a prototype, he didn't got the, the final one, so... No, there's still things that could have changed anyway, which is okay, because when you get early access to stuff, you have to be able to deal with that kind of things. All right, so these are the oops, screws with the bezel. Five. All right, let's finish this build because now that we know how that's supposed to be fixed, that's going to be easy because the cooler was definitely the biggest part of the build. I mean, we're still fitting a 240 AIO into a mini ITX case. Is that just the feedback or? Hey, just the feedback. <laughs> it's your Mac. You know, your, your Mac have a, a special throttling feature when you're watching streams about uh, people building PC. <laughs> <laughs> you should <laughs> hack and toss the system you're building. Uh, I don't think the EVGA drivers works, but could no, be. It should, yeah, it should work. Eh. <laughs> Everything in there would work, but that's it. Uh, the Wi-Fi wouldn't work. But there is the you can change the card, so you can put a you can put one just with put a, the USB dongle. Yeah, or just put a. Broadcom in it. Just don't use Wi Fi. <laughs> Who cares? So this. Okay, we good. We good with that. Actually, we got the. <laughs> the cables for the fan on the right side this time and that was not on purpose all right so now that's the tricky part tricky part is to go fix 
the top add extension into the top of the case there's a slight there's not that much you can uh, you can play with uh, this one's supposed to be magnetic but it's not yay so we have to use a little trick <clears throat> guys on the live chat let us know if there's any special things you want to see from Computex which is not next week but the week right after if there's anything you guys want to uh, to see what are you excited about can, can I be the first to say AMD Ryzen X570 I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> Well, that's not working. <laughs> well, that's not working. <sighs> Damn it. Is that the longest? That's the longest crew available. Okay, I think we have an issue here. Guys, can, can you can you continue looking online how the top ad is being fixed? Okay, let's try to see if we have an official screws that will be able to fit in that. No, the bench table screws are too wide. They won't fit. They're the best screw ever on the market, but they won't fit. I don't have long screws for that kind of M3. Nope, 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 nope. So I don't have screws for that top hat. Yeah, but then I cannot screw that. Okay, I see I see what you what you're trying to say here, Tim. So let's crew the regular top. And then but that No it doesn't No. It doesn't work because you have the the space for it. <laughs> need longer screws. Yes, we know we need longer screws, but there's no longer screws on that. <laughs> Gotta end up with duct tape. Again. Because <laughs> the small one is fine. So either that part is too... So I don't know if you can zoom. I can't see the... I can't see the feedbacks. 
So we have either this part here is too uh, too thick or the screws are not long enough. This is where we are today. No, because there's, uh, there's the... Uh, Okay, let's try it once again to see. Actually, you know what? The difference in size that we have between our screw is actually the space of that. So that's that's okay, it's just the screws are not long enough. No, they're exactly the same one. Exactly the same part. Uh, no, because the radiator is US screws and this is uh, metric screws. Um, I'm trying to think where we do have other kind of screws that could be used for that. question I don't think so because they have only they're very long and it's a different kind of head for the for the screwdriver so it's a big no-no so is this supposed to go like this So if, okay, maybe, maybe I was wrong from the start and maybe this actually just slides in and the magnetic is just taking care of it. No, can't, it's not going to work. I don't know, I will check. Not like this. <clears throat> I mean, doesn't change the fact that we need the screws for fixing it in. because the magnet doesn't work well on this one. I mean, on that part. So, your screws are like three millimeter too short. Yes, Viratman, yes, kinda. That's, uh, that's the, the kind of is issue that we have. You're missing a set of screws. They should, they should change your... Well, I just need four screws, just longer ones. Hey Zarkon, um, can you get the link on the uh, official site if they actually did uh, have to change the, the screw set? Because if that's the case, I would just send them an email and say, hey, uh, just missing long screws. I'm pretty sure it would be fine. Actually, the the founder or part of the of the team that actually behind the, the case would be at Computex. So if I... I guess if I send them an email soon enough, 
maybe could uh, try to get the set of screws at Computex. Alrighty. So, for the build today, then is that is that going to be it? Uh, that that could be it. The, I just I still want to finish to have the the case there. If it's just like four screws missing, I just mm. want to have like, hey, I have the screws. Okay, screws, screws. The build is over. Yeah. Because we could always change the cooler for a Noctua, which will fit. Yeah. The thing is, I really wanted to have the AIOs in there. Anyway, the, we don't have the, the the full graphic card as well. So the whole point was to... So the whole point now is to just make sure we can close this, have the backplate being mounted, and then uh, mm -hmm. I'm just going to call you the day, and uh, see with them if they can actually arrange. Uh, the extra screws. Right. Oh! I know! Oh. I know! No, 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 no! Wait, wait, wait! Tim, do you remember? Was that like a few weeks ago? I told you, did you order screws? I received a letter with four screws in there. Nothing, nothing, like nothing on the paper, nothing on the letter, just four screws in a small <laughs> bag like this through the mail. Good question, I don't know. <laughs> do, do you remember that now? <laughs> I think I even posted a picture on Twitter. Like, who the hell sent me four screws? And there was no paper, like no name, no senders, nothing. <laughs> oh my god, okay, now that that that, start, that is starting to make sense. Wait, wait I, I might have that somewhere. So it's in a small paper, a uh, small plastic bag, which And is... to think, just when you were about to say, screw this. <laughs> yeah, literally. Now you can screw that. Well, because I screwed up, because... Well, technically, I did not knew that it was coming... What it was coming from. I don't even remember if I had the... Where was it? Where was it? I think I put it somewhere. Okay, so now we have maybe one, actually two mystery being solved at the same time. Maybe that's um, what it. That's what it takes. You have the tweet? Can you send? Can can you post it on the? Uh... There's no picture. Oh god. Okay, now I know everything makes sense. What, no that's, that's the tweet, but there's no picture on it. So it says, "Literally, did you receive an envelope? No sender. Post post stamp from Sweden. Chinese sign on the letter. Four hex screws. So that must be it. If it's from Sweden, for sure." Okay, where is that? <laughs> okay, now the the whole trick is to find back the find back the thing. I have a key with a message says, "What is that key? It was in my wallet." <laughs> well, at least I I had it somewhere. Are these screws long enough? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I 
find a set of screws from February. Oh my god. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure I didn't actually throw them away because I did not knew what it was for. Eh. Trying to solve the mysteries one by one. Well, let's say that the plastic bags with small plastic bags with four screws inside is something pretty common here. So it's not an easy task. There's no follow up to, to that tweet with uh, I throw them away or. Uh, yeah. Well, that's that's kind of unexpected to uh, to be looking for those screws. But... Thunderbolt enclosure doesn't for that. All right, so we have one mystery solved. Even though it's oh wait 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 a minute, wait a minute. So I have screws that might fit, which are not the official ones. But that could work. And I remember they were pretty weird, so I didn't remember what it was for. So that might answer the question that we had earlier. I received my case before February. Okay, so guys, I have four screws that would fit. Hey. They're, they're not the official ones, but we could be still finishing the build for today. Well, unless actually... Yeah. Eh. Not that much. It's always good to get stuff done. Yes, uh, actually... It's it's good to get the stuff done, but it's frustrating to not get it done. It's even worse. Yeah. So it's it's more about not being frustrated than just having the pleasure of completing the full build. I can't see anywhere else that would be. Tim, do you mind checking if you have like a, a screw in there with that kind of uh, that kind of size on, on it? Like the it's a little bit longer than that, and it's a full X inside, like this. Yes. Well, no, but. So half of the stream is actually looking for a pair of screws that you received a few months ago and you have no idea what's that for. Hmm? I don't think we use them in any other build as well. There's no reason for that. I found the extension for the uh, for the power cable for the the power button and the LED. 
Can you check in that? I don't think that's in there. But... So you guys can't see, but we're going all around this uh, the space we have here, trying to find a small bag, small plastic bag with four screws. And we're not even, not getting any closer. All right, you know what? Let's build. Let's finish the build with the unofficial screws, and. Uh, uh, I will uh, I will send a nice email to the guys at Luke and says, "Hey, I received the the screws. I didn't know what that what was that for. <laughs> Can you send me a new set?" <laughs> but mystery is solved. I like it. Good work, team. Good work. There was no message whatsoever in there. So the thing is, I hope the non-official screw that I have here would fit, because technically they're a bit too short as well. Let's see. Uh, hopefully it'll be fine. <laughs> but nothing wrong with a good unofficial screw now and again. <laughs> seems to work <laughs> it doesn't work no doesn't work damn it so much hope for nothing oh so we will all shut up the live and and go cry All right, so well, I think uh, that's gonna be it for for that build. Uh, <laughs> okay, we can still try to fix the cooler though. It's just the top hat that we can't. Or just be like that, right? So we can still use some screws, but not the regular ones. All right, so it would be a bare naked build. Up. Okay. Did you just say hop? Did I say what? Hop, like build side does. You've been watching too much build side. No, I said hockey. Okay. <laughs> hop. It, it sound. <laughs> You, now you're doing it on purpose. Up, up. Ah, yes, up. Yeah, I say up, but uh, this, it's not because of builds, it's because, because I'm French. And we always say, up, 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 let's do something. Oh. oh okay. Usually yeah, we say, yeah, allez, yeah. allez, hop. Huh, didn't know that. <laughs> Why does Bill Toy do it then? He's Czech. Well, it's, yeah, technically he's Czech, but. He lived. He lived longer in UK than, than uh, not longer, but he's have, he have more roots with UK he, than Czechs. He went to an American-run school or something. I don't fully get it. But... Yes. So that's why he's. Yeah. Uh, so that's why his English is very good. Yeah. You'd have to actually ask him to get the full story there. Yeah. I have a pretty good idea of the full story. All right, so there we go. This is build. <laughs> uh, Tim, can you get can you get inside? Well, can you get the closer look for that? Will this be better? 
So, ah, yes, the back plate. Still need the standoff y things and the back plate. Yes, uh, indeed. So I figured out that the last build that you had was an Intel build and all the screws are in the same bag, so I guess this is the right ones. <laughs> all right, folks, just gonna finish this because then it's the weekend. Um, hey. No OMG show next week. Oh. I don't think we will. But what uh, am I going to do with my Friday? <laughs> well, Friday for sure not going to happen because uh, I have some cryo notes. Would that work? Or some. Yeah, that'll work fine. No name. Wait, it should already have pre applied thermal paste. No, no, no. The, that stuff has, be, has, has been used once. Okay, that's gonna be for later. Um, Friday is not doable anyway. You are here and busy, and I will be uh, in the plane, so that's not gonna work. So Friday next week for sure, there's not gonna be any show. <laughs> but um, we could be looking to do some the week of Computex. I mean, doing it the week before Computex, there's not much to, to talk about except the uh, the rumors. Mm. Which must, it, which, um, which, let's, let's be honest, most of them we can't really speak about it because, well, there's not many information or trusted information. Or worse, worse, we have the information and we can't speak about it, so. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Yeah. You, you find out something you're not meant to know, and you're like, oh, great, now I can't tell anyone anything. Yeah. Uh, so for us, it's if easier get... it's actually after the show. Mm. If you don't get a chance to stream or anything from Computex, do you reckon you'd be able to do something like maybe just quick vlogs just from a mobile phone or something and put them on the YouTube channel? I could record with my headset and go with my phone. Yeah. I could do that. The thing is the time the time zone I will be doing it is clearly not efficient. Yeah. yeah. I mean unless you love being awake at night just to see my face, which I don't think is the case. Even though I have oh. a good face. Well, that, that, that's why I'm saying maybe just record something and put it on the YouTube channel rather than doing it live. If, if you, you know, you can just kind of talk for a few minutes about what, you, what you've seen or something. Or just point the camera at the thing that you want to show off that's cool that you haven't, that most people wouldn't notice. Well, technically, there's a lot of YouTube channels that would be doing it. And I think they would be doing it much better than me. <laughs> Let, let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you want to watch something, you want to watch something that is overclocking focused, I guess, as well. Yeah, that's and there's very few channels that'll be doing <laughs> overclocking specific content. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not like Biltoid's going. <laughs> yeah, he spent all his money on GPUs. <laughs> God, he actually has. He was, he was saying earlier, in, like, he, he's bought himself a 680 Lightning now. But all of the money that he could be much better spending on 8 gigabit Micron Revision E, he has done... <laughs> <laughs> it lasted 20 minutes. 20 minutes without bitching about it. That's actually great. <laughs> You know it's bad when Buildzoid stops drinking Monster and switches to like house brand energy drinks. Oh good. That's, that's when we'll know he's spent all his money on graphics cards. Oh right, okay, yeah. I, I was getting worried for a minute. Hey, you know what? I would say one thing, guys. It's just because you're not giving enough to him, you're not enough donation. <laughs> I don't know, but I only have bits on Twitch. Can't donate to that to him if he doesn't stream. Uh, to that's a to very be totally good point. fair. 
he he was saying that it was actually more an issue of feeling like he already has enough to be doing and doesn't want more work right now he, like he's yeah. got enough stuff in the queue well yeah. actually does Which I, 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 a I had a good... of him buying a 680 lightning so now he has to do stuff on that as well so that's the thing if you buy something you have to make it worth it do some right. scores do so, and especially especially for him it's content so when you buy something yes. If you don't do content, then that's kind of wasted, right? Yeah. So is it going to just go straight into the drawer, or is it going to sit on the desk for a while, then get put into the drawer, and then if, get put into the box? If you knew if you knew how much stuff I had here that I bought, I was like, okay, I'm just going to do this awesome project with it. And then uh. never had enough time to actually put the effort into it. Like... Literally, I can like once this build is over, I can show you. I have forgot about one cable for the PSU. Okay, okay, I'm not unscrewing up everything because I can't access the PSU if I have the top add. So let's be inventive. So guys, I forgot about the uh, SATA power cable for the AIO. Thing is. Oh no, are you going to need a whole other cable from the power supply just yep. to power the pump? Yeah. Oh. But that should be fine because I'm not going to unmount the whole thing again. Screw that. I mean, people say location, location, location. I would say planning, planning, planning. Okay, hopefully there is one, technically two plugs that we can use here that's it oh my god that was the easiest thing <laughs> that we did to date <laughs> so let's push all the cables in there i'm gonna go and check on my micron i'll be back in a sec <laughs> i think yeah, that was yeah, uh... i wish i wish there's errors on the testing just so we can reach about them <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God. So what's that for? So that's for the fan, I guess. And this is for RGB thing, I guess. Up. Up, up there. Hey, actually, uh, thank you very much, everyone, for following us because I didn't have the uh, the alert with me. Uh, Mimi Diagio, Derp, Darth Raider, in SMS, Gigs. That's just the only one I can see from the top of the chat. Uh, sorry, I uh, actually missed uh, saying thank you. But I was very uh, worried about my set of screws that I received in a few months ago, and I did not know what it was. But now the mystery is solved. No problem. <laughs> Make a custom cable for part two of the stream. Yeah, if you want to have a part two in two months, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. This is here. Plug the cable. Plug on. How? No. Let's not get in there. I'm actually pretty surprised that everything fits in that case because it's pretty constrained. <laughs> Actually, to make it look very good, we should zip tie. So we should zip tie it on the side here. The Twizzlers. What's the name they called it? The Twizzlers? Twizzlers. 
Tweezers and Twizzlers are very different things. As a English native speaker, could you explain what is the difference if it's actually PG? Uh, Twizzlers are the long uh, licorice candy. Tweezers oh, are... yes. And, and tweezers are? Uh, metal grabbing utensils for buying things. Yeah, now I remember about the, um, the candies. All right. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. It's still stable. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we were we were hoping it, it actually would not be stable. Ah. Yeah, the chewy candy. Yeah. What's the, the, the brand name of those... Um, it's not candies. Some kind of like cakes. Uh, they have in, uh, in the zombie movies. And they're always trying to find them. Something that is Twinkies? very... Yeah, the Twinkies. Yeah, because they're made out of pure preservatives. <laughs> so they never go off. <laughs> Definitely something I will not eat. So your Micron Alpita die is doing well? Yes. I like that name for it as well, because I think you might also have a point. Because um, Micron bought Alpita a few years ago, and the really interesting thing to me about this, I, I can feel Truff dying inside right now, but the really interesting thing to, to me about this <laughs> is with, with Alpida 1 gigabit revision A DDR3, also known as hypers right um pe people act like hypers are a different ic they're not from everything i've been able to find every indication is that hypers are just revision a Alpida one gigabit ddr3 that they have internally sorted um so they've gone through it at the factory when they're doing their jdec bins um and they're saying these we're not rating them you know just to run a normal stock speed we are rating these as really good overclocking chip. And as far as I can tell, Micron are doing that as well. The chips that are in the 3600, 16, 18, 18 ballistics, I think are being binned in the same way because uh, the crucial part number actually has a JDEC bin code that doesn't exist. It's not documented by Micron. Uh, like normally it'd be something like 062E and it's instead it's 68M. So I think it's a special overclocking bin like okay. what LP did in the or maybe it's a new JDEC standard that is not still open. That would be... It's possible. They might they might be moving towards 3600, but I'd be surprised. Well, yeah. isn't JDEC currently ratifying DDR5? So... Well, yeah, but I don't know. That, it, to be fair, I think DDR3 ended up with some fairly high speeds. Let me check. DDR5 would be about conception. It's lower. Uh, they're... <clears throat> no, they're increasing clock speed as well. Okay, so they did end up going up to 2133 for DDR3. Um, so, yeah, to be fair, it would not be out of character to do, you know, DDR4 3600 as a JDEC standard. That's possible, I suppose. I suppose technically JDEC DDR4 even up to 3866, maybe even 4000 or so is not, wouldn't be completely out of character. But I think they did DDR2 up to 1066, then DDR3 to 2133. But that's, that's fantasy, that's the realm of fantasy. I don't know what to do with this.
I love a clean build, but I hate cable management. Yeah, you're not going to get a clean build in that case easily. Zip tie, good point. That's, a, that's actually a good point as well. You need the the Twinkies and a Swiss Army knife that have a screwdriver in that. Actually, we got around using that much, not that much zip ties for that build, which technically is always a trick when you have to small bit because you need zip ties to put things in, in every small corners that you have. Good! So I think that's okay, we just need to plug the RAM in. That would be very easy to do, I guess. if it's actually plugged in the right, right direction. And there we go for one. And there we go for two. That's it. We have that. Okay, guys, do you want to test if it's actually working? Oh, yes, please. Okay. So we can unplug one of the camera and actually plug the PC up this one. So we will see at the same time as you if it is actually working, which we have no clue whatsoever as of now. Oops. And probably want to add on a screen so that you can see if it actually posts. Yeah, you will have the screen. Okay, if it's full black, that's normal. I just need to have the power plug to this. So, everything is plugged. Oh, the case had some... It's a dust magnet. It's insane. All right. Uh, the power plug for the PSU is not on. All right. Um, who told me about the the pins for the power? I don't think we have the right one. Power LED reset. Ah, my mistake. I plugged that on the reset and not on the power. Then use a screwdriver. Uh, oh, 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 no. I removed the fours, the four pin step of the just the two first one. So blue and blue, white and gray. That's power LED. I can barely see what I'm doing. All right. 
We will make it happen. Yes. One. I feel like a surgeon. Like a surgeon. Good for the very first time. Yeah, that was Will Lolinkovich. All right, so we should have the right stuff plugged now. And there we go. Oh, to be fair, the next line of that song would work fine as it is, wouldn't it? What are you talking about? Like a surgeon when your heart beats next ah. to mine. I love it. I, I I love all the all the parodies. It's pretty good. All right, are we ready? Are we ready to plug this? So power is on, HDMI is on. Do, do mm -hmm. okay. Do do we have a close up for? Oh no, we don't have the close up. So oh, there is LED. Do do we have a boot? Do you have a postcode? Do you have post? Do we have post? Do we? So it's full on RGB, so that's one thing. Does it work? Oh, good. Oh, we got something. Oh, oh, is it is it working? Ish. Um, it looks like a vaporwave <laughs> album cover. <laughs> Basically, but like a glitch vaporwave album cover. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, let's try to restart that. Maybe that was. We don't know if it's the capture of the PC. I. Hopefully the capture card, because that shouldn't be... The PC is doing that something wrong. It does look like it would be pretty chill. Yeah, but it would definitely be a glitchy album. Uh. Right, let's start again. Would this work? Mm -hmm. Suspense, suspense. Suspense. <laughs> Suspense intensify. Tim, do you want me to switch back to the other one? Okay, so what we add is we want to make sure it's actually working because we have the we have the system on so it's a very good rgb powered i would say with maximum rainbow puke <laughs> yeah wait Rebooting. It works. Okay, switch back to the. Uh... <laughs> because it's not an official resolution. BIOS. All right, so it works. It it did. It did work at some point. 
we, we saw the bio screen. All right, we're just gonna use the screen to uh, to show you actually what's going on. So yes, that's correct. So we use a cam link, uh, Elgato cam link with the uh, the Elgato, a uh, what's the name, uh, Stream Deck as well, uh, pr pretty useful. And we use the Elgato cam link as well for the camera, <clears throat> which is uh, which is something that we just tested recently. Uh, but yes, it doesn't support the very crazy uh, resolution in the BIOS. Um, <laughs> All right. All right. It works. It works. Hey. Success. Success. We did it. All right, so we have a working AI. Of... So let's re let's recap on the build. What do we have? So first thing first, it works. That's awesome. Second thing is uh, we find out a long mystery about what was those four screws I got through the mail with no information in there. So now we know that's the four screws I need for the top hat, which I don't know where I put but we'll try to find them back or actually uh, reach out to the loop guys. So what did we do? We had an H370 Stinger motherboard from um, from EVGA. We had an 8700K 80, uh, uh, Derby CPU in that. We have two times eight gigs of uh, Corsair Vengeance uh, memories. Uh, they're rated a little bit higher than uh, 3200. Yes, 3200 megahertz. And we have an AIO uh, 240, which is uh, uh, regular re regular size it's the h100i uh, platinum pro rgb so yeah it's rgb as well and uh, we have a sfx 750 psu from um, from corsair as well we don't have any graphic cards we tried to put the 1080 ti streaks in there but it's a little bit too thick to fit in the in the looks in the look ghost s1ks the last things we have to do for this to be um to be closing the whole system is to put back the sides and see how it looks. Does it work? Yeah. Yep. Stay in there. On the other side as well. If I actually manage to put it back in. And the last thing we would have to do is to find a solution to uh, fix the top hat, which would go on top of, of it here to look super good. And for that, we'll just need to find where are the four screws that we received a few months ago through the mail or just um, actually send if, just just put it on top that should fit kind of ish Oh, it should fit. Just a power, just a matter of cables. Oh no, it doesn't fit because of the screws. Correct. Well, close enough. And the top part. <laughs> Magic. Well, I need the screws because uh, that's actually fixing the supporting the whole AIO. So that's it. We have it. Uh, I think we 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 made what we had to do. Uh, it's uh, complete enough as a as a build. And the next things with that we will maybe do is to not break the glasses with the water in there, but. <laughs> Hey, we managed to uh, to do three hours and twenty minutes without breaking things, so it's uh, pretty okay. All right, I think uh, Tim, we uh, have to wrap this up. I can't see uh, which screen is that. This was our live build, fully unprepared on the Luke Gust S1. 
Obviously, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want comments, that's in the comment below. No, just kidding. We're on Twitch. It's not on YouTube. Uh, we're not going to be posting that one on YouTube, most likely. Uh, the thing is, we want to do things live because it's always fun to do. Thank you very much, guys, for being with us. Thank you very much to everyone on the live chat asking questions and you guys on Discord. If you want to find more uh, stuff about OCTV, as usual, uh, Overclocking TV on Twitter, Overclocking TV uh, everywhere online. We will be at Computex for the whole week. If you want to see special stuff, let us know. Um, there on Twitter by the comments pretty much anywhere you want and the thing is uh, we will not do an OMG show next week because we will be traveling to Taiwan but we might be doing some stuff from side from time to time during the Computex week uh, besides that uh, thank you for uh, the partners that we had uh, hardware from Corsair uh, EVGA uh, IPREX for the M.2 SSD as well uh, thank you very much guys we want to do more stuff like that it's always fun to do even though we would do it live and uh, stuff like that um if you have any comments as well on stuff you want to see likes uh, blah 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 uh, the key point is share the love so we are we're in it to just you know have some fun make sure it's educational if you learn something share it around uh, and say that overclocking tv is good to watch because it's fun and uh, thank you uh, everyone on the uh, discord chat Thank you, folks. It was uh, a pleasure to spend that uh, that Friday afternoon with you. Uh, I hope you have a good weekend, and we will all see you maybe in two weeks. Bye. So you're gonna show us the old stuff. <laughs>